in this video we are going to discuss about polar form of the signal whenever a signal is not having any symmetry then we will transform trigonometric fourier series into polar form so how we will transfer the trigonometric fourier series into polar form means so this is the equation to root into polar form so that is so for a signal if you want polar form we can write like this g of t is any signal for that you can give trigonometric fourier series representation also if that signal is having no symmetry so then we will represent in poly, polar form like d naught plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity d n cos n omega naught t plus theta n here you can consider in trigonometric fourier series we are having constant and coefficient even coefficient with cos and plus uh, b n sin n omega naught t also in if you observe trigonometric fourier series representation there you are having a naught plus n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t that is the equation of trigonometric fourier series if you compare here we consider only cos so cos n omega naught t plus theta n we can consider sin n omega naught t minus theta n also but uh, if you consider sin there then you need to draw separate spectrum some complexity is there you can consider sin n omega naught t minus theta n also but why i am neglecting all this means so when you consider sin theta then it will be more complex so as cos is a even function if you got minus also cos of minus theta also you are going to get cos theta but sin is not having that type of feasible features so that's why i am going to consider cos here so the polar form of any function g of t is equal to d naught plus summation n equal to infinity d n cos n omega naught t plus theta n so here where d n is the magnitude spectrum modulus of or magnitude of d n will refers to magnitude spectrum whereas theta n this is called as phase spectrum so now before getting into this magnitude and phase spectrum i want to discuss the relation of fourier trigonometric fourier series coefficients in the relation with polar form so here an is equal to dn cos theta n always the constant in polar form is equal to constant in trigonometric fourier series a naught and if they given an or if they given dn and theta n you can find an like this so an is equal to dn cos theta n bn is equal to minus dn sin theta n this this is the relation in between um, an bn and dn and theta n that means polar coefficients trigonometric fourier series coefficients these relations are also very important they are asking directly into exams what are the relation between polar Co coefficients and trigonometric fourier series coefficients so constant in polar form is equal to constant in trigonometric fourier series so even coefficient of trigonometric fourier series is equal to dn cos theta n whereas odd coefficient in trigonometric fourier series is equal to minus dn sin theta n coming to the relation of polar in terms of trigonometry modulus of dn will referred as magnitude spectrum so that can be considered as root of a n square plus b n square this is also an important formula in polar form uh, to solve gate like technical exam papers so here phase spectrum is equal to theta n is equal to tan inverse minus b n by a n if they given trigonometric coefficients a n b n then you can find magnitude spectrum and phase spectrum sometimes they will ask what is the amplitude spectrum of the signal represented in polar form if they are asking any amplitude spectrum then definitely you can consider these two combination of these two will refer as amplitude spectrum magnitude spectrum comma phase spectrum will provide you amplitude spectrum of the signal this is about polar form of the signal polar form is very important each and every point on this board is very important that can come directly into your exam that is what is the equation of polar form the relation of trigonometric coefficients in terms of polar coefficients and the relation or magnitude and phase spectrum in terms of trigonometric coefficients are given so by keeping um, in mind about these points these three points you can solve so many problems related to polar form and trigonometric fourier series